In the wake of the attacks in Paris and San Bernardino, gun sales have skyrocketed, leaving firearms at the top of many Christmas lists. Last month, the FBI ran more than 2.2 million firearm background checks, and on Black Friday alone, a record of over 185,000 were processed. One small business owner says business is booming, particularly among women. So why are women choosing to arm themselves now? Joining us now to talk about it is the owner of the well-armed woman, Carrie Lightfoot. Carrie, thanks for being with us. Oh, you bet. Good morning. Well, 74% of retailers reported an increase in 2013. 60% saw an increase in target shooting for women and 85% uh, saw an increase in hunting. What have you noticed at your store in particular? Boy, we've been busy actually since we started in 2012, but in the last month we've had just an explosion of growth. We're, we're, we're up about 138% over the last, since November. And folks who are in support of guns believe that they are the, the ultimate equalizer for women if, if there happens to be a burglar, if they're trying to protect their family. Self-defense is a big reason. What are some of the other women reasons that women are buying guns? You know, it is, we're burdened with that fear of our own self-protection just because we're naturally the, the target of most violent crime. So we already have that anxiety. But now coupled with the terrorist activities and our fears of that happening here at home, and the threat of future gun legislation, I think, really has women digging deep into their, into their hearts and making the decision of whether or not they, they could use a firearm. And I think they're just stepping into taking charge of their own self-protection. But those of uh, gun control, uh, supporting gun control would say, you know, maybe uh, women are scared of having a firearm in the house. They're scared of a child getting their hands on them and having a terrible ac accident. What types of safeguards are in place? Well, I mean, you know, first of all, that really is a, is a frustrating um, message is because women are perfectly capable of taking care of themselves. And that's, that's really pushing the victim and victimhood onto women. So I really kind of rebuke that, that statement that uh -huh. women are, are weaker and more afraid and more likely to get, get hurt with the right training and the right tools. We are more than capable to take care of ourselves. And women take gun ownership really seriously. This is not a casual decision for them. Things like safety and storage and, and how to move through their lives with a firearm, whether with children or in other situations, um, they take every precaution and they're really anxious to learn and make sure that they're responsible gun owners. Yeah, b just being responsible gun owners, exactly, and getting the proper training, yes. which, which you actually yes. help women do as well. In your store, what are you noticing are the most popular items among women? Well, it's really exciting to see so many women carrying concealed, you know, carrying their firearms on their body, which is the safest and the, the best location for it because we have easy access to it. So holsters are the big seller at the Well Armed Woman, and we design holsters specifically for women and for their bodies because um, we're curvier. We have some different challenges than men do. And then during the holiday season, um, concealed carry purses. We see husbands and men purchasing gifts right. for their wives bullet jewelry and things like that. All right, Carrie Lightfoot, thank you so much. Carrie Lightfoot from The Well-Armed Woman. Appreciate your time and Merry thank you. Christmas.